Good morning. So I didn't make it to the 21 mile shelter. I made it to the 18 mile shelter. The it was only like a 250 foot climb up to the shelter, but it was a, it was kind of steep. It was stupid. No, exhausted. So I said I don't think I could go any further. And when I looked inside the shelter, there was a beer. <laughs> um, so. I don't know if I mentioned that in last night's video or not, but it was really dusty in the shelter. I'm not even, like, I put my tent, um, uh, tent pad thing down, um, because I just don't want anything touching it. There seemed to be quite a bit of mouse poop also, so I slept with my head poking out the, you know, the entrance, um, and sunset, or sunrise is happening behind me, and it seems to be pretty, but I don't feel like getting up and looking. Then I'd have to leave my sleeping bag. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Um, I think that's it. I'm 19 to go into town. It would have been 16, but you know, screwed the pooch on that one. Uh, but that's why I got up early today to hopefully get out earlier. And and it should be. I have a couple good up and downs, um, like pretty consecutively. Nothing crazy. They're just a lot of like little puds. Um, but after that, it's like downhill and flat into cave springs, so can't cry too much about that. Uh, and <laughs> uh, this video is going on a little bit longer, but um, last night, I was, I was coming down, whatever I was coming down. Um, I said, you know what, these long days are kind of okay, because I can set a lot of mini PRs. And I did like four miles in, um, in about an hour. Cause it was all downhill so i was like let's see if i can do it and i did it so this is the shelter very dirty in there i tried to sweep my section off but it was still so dirty um so i had to sleep on my ground cloth but there's the atv road that comes up here you just why it's kind of crushed so today is an exciting day um because I climb two mountains, Flag Mountain and Indian Mountain. But really those climbs lead up to the Alabama-Georgia state line. So if I still lived in Georgia, I'd be hiking home. Um, and away from home this year. But I don't live there anymore currently. So still pretty cool to pass a 14th state. 15th? 14th? I don't know. Another state <laughs> this year. So, shout out to that. And, apparently border beers are a thing. So, I'm drinking mine on the way up. So, I'm going to eat those carbs to boost me. just had quite a rocky descent but uh, I think I have about a thousand feet of gain in front of me over I think it's around six miles or so which isn't bad I'll be hitting the state line in a second well in a second I mean like six miles but it should be pretty crazy from there to town which is exciting I'm sure whatever moment I'm looking at I'm gonna go up next. This sprinkling again. Hopefully the bridge isn't too slick. Made it. There you go. See why I'm paranoid at night, y'all? Regular animals or humans don't do this. I don't know what animal this is. Or maybe this person was really just scuffing their feet. I don't know. We've got quite the uh I'm suspecting ladder here. Threw down my poles already. This is the second shelter, or the shelter I meant to stay at. There's a creek running right next door. Very nice. So when I stopped at that last shelter, 
Um, I met two Sobo to one I met in northern New Hampshire when I came running into that shelter, screaming and moaning about how awful the AMC is. Uh, and he remembered me instantly. I was, he asked me, like, did you go to school here? And he's from Georgia? And I was like, uh, yeah. And he's like, we met. And I was like, where? And, um, and he told me, I was like, oh my God. And then I met another guy who was doing a flip-flop where he already did a flip-flop, his AC flip-flop, through the Penhody and down to the Florida Keys. So he said, he's just walking until he wants to stop. <laughs> and I said, that's cool. That's freaking awesome. Um, so they were, they were fun to talk to and to shout leather through hikers. Um, and wound is when I met the day or two before and they knew him. Um, so that's the other guy that I met out here that was doing pretty good long distance hiking. I met another guy too, but he just said, hey, he kept on going, so that's fine. <laughs> um, but about four miles from the border and I think I'll have 11 miles after that, so I should roll into town about five or so, as long as I keep going and don't stop. <laughs> But my arm's getting tired, so I'm putting my hand down, or my arm down. So, there's this ATV road that goes straight up this mountain. Like, that is a lot to go up. That's a, that's a hefty grade. Alright, so on the mountain between Flagpole and Indian, just two and a half miles from the state border. And, oh, feels accomplishing, not gonna lie. Feels pretty cool. <laughs> I see why people do the ECT now. Or IEC, whatever it's called. I don't know. Apparently I'm gonna have views all, ugh, all around me. Uh, you might be able to see the mountains behind me. I think I'm in the Blue Ridge now. That's gonna be great. Here we are, official Georgia, Alabama border. Dang, that's dim. Sorry guys. There you go, now you can see Alabama. And as promised, border beer. So there is another shelter, they've got the Spring Creek shelter. Um, Grace is white though, which is interesting. Hasn't been Grace at all. Um, the rocks have sort of chilled out and it's getting a bit cruisier, so I think I'll still make it into town at a decent hour. Um, other than that, we got water here. I think all the other sources are pretty crappy and polluted uh, south of here, or north of here. Um, yeah. See all this greenery? It's all privets. It. Looks like this. I'm sure many of you have these in your yards and you call them your valuable bushes, but they are not. They are terrible. Make my allergies go crazy. And invasive and aggressive and have no positive contribution. So, take them down. So here's a visual example of why privet is so bad when it enters our forest, just like any other invasive um, plant or insect or whatever. Uh, as you can see, a lot of it is covered in the ground forest, so it's out competing with everything. And it's uh, slightly evergreen, meaning that 
it will drop its leaves, but not every year. And so I'm going to plant that never loses its cover, uh, spreads rapidly, has no competition. It's a problem. This is all pivot. This is a problem. <laughs> Made it to the Cave Springs, um, her in, her n in. So I was on a road walk and a nice woman pulled over and picked me up. So I didn't have to walk anymore, which was great timing because my hips and my shins were starting to be in pain. So currently doing a fuel can transfer. I froze the bottom one for um, probably 30 minutes or so and then um, came back from the grocery store and then filtering the top. It was sizzling, but it's probably about emptied out by now. Okay, so I brushed the main out. I'm about to go shower. I just did my, started my laundry, um, but before I do all that, I wanted to pop in real quick to show you guys. I am here alone, um, to show you what the inn looks like. It's pretty amazing for $62 and 17 cents. Um, all right, let me turn the camera on. Okay. So this is my room. I have a little bit of a gear explosion. Don't mind the mess. Um, I'll show you the bottom floor. So basically you walk in just like this. You got bedroom over there. This is quite large. Another bedroom is dark. Sorry, I don't watch my lights on. Um, a sign in for Pinhoti and just regular guest hikers. Nice an antique piece. Restroom, the tub, full kitchen. Um, so, actually, I'm having dinner. Full packet of stuffed shells and some frozen vegetables. And this is on the other side of the kitchen. It's like a little hangout living room space. And I'll show you upstairs. All right, so they have another bathroom in here. Nice step up sink. Um, more bedrooms down there. Uh, they have a cool Laundry kitchen type thing, or laundry area. Another bathroom, another bedroom attached. And this is pretty cool. It's got another kitchen area. Uh, no stove up here, but it's got a dishwasher, microwave, coffee, fridge. And then I think this area is really cool large seating living area with hotel and cable haven't seen cable in a while but there you go nice pieces very cool this place is sweet recommend it if you're hiking the Benhodi.